Hello trainers. In this video I'll do a short review about Pokemon Picross for GBC by using a complete save file. I think there's no risk of spoilers more than knowing the number of puzzles, and a few more things. It can be a little spoilery for someone, but it won't be a traumatic spoiler. So let's start. First of all, you must know that this game is not the same as the other game called Pokemon Picross for the 3DS. This game was programmed completely for the GBC, but for some reason it has never been released. And it's a pity, because this has a pretty solid gameplay and the most important to me, the buttons respond very well, which is very important to complete some puzzles which require to be solved in very few seconds. This game appeared on the internet because of the giggleek of Nintendo in 2020. Before this, we only knew the existence of this game because it was announced in some scans before being cancelled. Once we know a little about the story of this Pokemon game, let's dive in into this game. The first one we see in this game is its title screen. Of course, Pikachu had to be in it since it's the mascot of the Pokemon franchise. Now you can hear the sound of the game. I must say that as far as I remember now, every piece of music is new, I mean it hasn't been used in other Pokemon games. As you can see, in this game we have the option to create two save files in the same game instead of only one save. In this game, we have different types of Picross. We start the game with easy Picross. Here, we have to solve different Picrosses to discover an image. In easy Picross, all images are items. Now, I'll solve a Picross to see how this gameplay is. If you have never played it, Picross are picture logic puzzles in which cells in a grid must be colored or left blank according to numbers at the side of the grid, to reveal a hidden pixel art-like picture. In this puzzle type, the numbers are a form of discrete tomography that measures how many unbroken lines of filled-in squares there are in any given row, or column. In this game, there are four different Picross sizes, a puzzle of 10 by 10 which we have 20 minutes to solve it, a puzzle of 15 by 15, and 30 minutes to solve it, a puzzle of 20 by 20, with 70 minutes to complete it and a puzzle of 30 by 30 in which we have to complete in less than 90 minutes. If we fail marking the position of a square in a puzzle, the game will penalize us by decreasing some minutes in a sudden. The next Picross section is Pokemon Picross. In Pokemon Picross our goal is to complete Picrosses. If we complete at least a half of every level, we'll unlock the next level. Every level represents a location which has 15 unique Picrosses. And each Picross hidden a unique Pokemon picture from the first generation. So completing a Picross here is like catching a Pokemon. Every time we complete a Picross, it will be represented with a Pokeball, but if we solve the Picross very fast, then we'll see the image of a Super Ball instead of the Pokeball. In total there are 10 levels with 15 Picrosses on each level. That is a total of 150 Picrosses which correspond with the first 150 Pokemon. But don't worry, because Mew is also included in a special section. As in every Pokemon game, here we have a Pokédex section, too. Every time we complete a Pokemon Picross, that Pokemon will be registered here. 
Here we have the options of completing again a specific Pokemon Picross as well as print screen. If you don't know, in some Gamboy and Game Boy Color games we could print an image of every Pokemon by connecting the peripheral Game Boy printer on the Game Boy. As you may notice, a difference from the main Pokemon games is that we can catch all the Pokemon without the need to trade, so if you are a lonely player who also has dreamt about completing the Pokédex in a Pokemon game, you will fulfill your dream in this game. If you want more Picrosses, don't worry, because when you complete 8 puzzles in Area 10 in Pokemon Picross section, you'll unlock the Safari Picross. At least for me, Pokemon Picrosses were easy medium difficult. But Picrosses of the Safari Picross really were harder. Here, we have to complete a picture which usually includes 2 or more Pokemon. Every Picross we complete will appear in the Safari album. Its function is the same as the Pokédex, to show every picture unlocked with the option of retry and print. Since there are 51 Safari Picrosses, we have 51 photos in this album. This means that 15 Easy Picrosses plus 151 Pokémon Picrosses plus 51 Safari Picrosses are a total of 217 Picrosses to complete which I think it's a good number of Picrosses for a Game Boy Color title. And in conclusion, this title is a hidden gem if you really enjoy Picross games or Logic games. I think the increase of the difficulty is well made. But one thing I didn't like was that sometimes, especially in the Safari Picross, I found some Picrosses which I wasn't able to continue logically and I had to remember part of the puzzle and start again. As I said before, the input responded very well, and the predetermined time to solve every puzzle is more than enough if we don't fail in any moment of the puzzle. It's a pity Nintendo still hasn't released it yet. The game is fun and complete from the start to the end. It could perfectly be released on the virtual console, and I hope someday they decide to release it. The game worth it. And now I want to hear from you about this game. Did you know this game? Have you ever given it a try? What do you think about this game? Finally, if you liked this video then, please, I'll be really grateful if you give a like and subscribe. See you in the next videos.